So you can bring the uh, soles of the feet together, the knees open, and then just relax back onto your mat. Okay, so get comfortable there. Today we're thinking all about Trikonasana. So if, we, if you were with me this morning, then um, let's see where, if we can delve a little bit deeper into it. And also, um, if you would, let's, let's uh, take the journey again. So soles of the feet together, knees open, just lying down on your back. You can have your palms faced up, resting down on the floor by your side. Taking this little bit of time to arrive on your mat. And we're going to take the Yoni Mudra today. That Yoni Mudra is a mudra that can help you detach from the everyday. Okay. So mudra is something that you do with your hands. And for this one, you're going to press your thumbs together and your first fingers together to create triangle shape. And then just rest the hands on your pelvis, fingers pointing downwards and thumbs pressing together. Yeah, so you've created that triangle shape just on the top of your lower belly, fingers pointing down towards the pelvis. So let your eyes close once you're there. As I said, this mudra, this shape that you created with your hands, the downward pointing triangle help, should help you to be able to detach from your everyday life. Let's bring you into this more subtle field. Just allow the breath to flow in and out through your nose. Let your face relax, let your jaw relax. Let's visualize the energy traveling through the triangle, through your pelvis, rooting you down into the earth rooting you into that stable place. This mudra also is re represented by a goddess. So this goddess is called Kalima. And my teacher calls her Kalima. So her name's Kali and my teacher calls her Kalima. So she's a, quite a mothering goddess. She's fearless on her exterior. She's quite scary to look at, but then her interior is incredibly soft. So maybe we can invoke a little bit of that within our practice today, making the, the shape, the alignment, all those different lines to make the triangle shape, making sure that is strong and solid, but within that there's a softness yeah, for your joints and your muscles. We'll take one more long, deep breath in through the nose and we'll fill yourself up. You can hold the breath at the top. And then exhale, just open your mouth and let it all out. So you bring the knees up together. And then extend your arms out uh, above your head, your feet out to the front of the mat. And we know with uh, triangle pose, there's an awful lot going on with the upper part of the body as well as the lower part. So just for a moment, walk your feet over to the right side and then walk your, your body and your arms over to the right side. So I want you to feel the stretch from your left toes all the way to your left fingertips. If you feel like you could feel this stretch a little bit more, then just pop your left foot over your right ankle. So then try and breathe into that left side, so your left rib cage, left side of the body. Okay, feeling the extension without collapsing on the right side, and that's super important. Releasing the left foot and then walking the feet back to the center, body back to the center. And then we should walk the feet over towards the other side and the arms over as well towards that left side. Yeah, and if you feel like you can get a little bit more out of this, then just place the right ankle over the top of the left ankle. And 
spend a moment breathing energy into that right side, feeling the space there. Okay, unhooking your right foot, walking your feet back to the center and your body back to the center. Do a full body stretch now, point your toes, squeeze your belly button back, reach through the fingertips. Good. And then as you exhale, start to bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms over the tops of the shins and let's just take a little rock from side to side. See if you can iron out any niggles or anything that's been popping up for you throughout the day. Then we can take the hands behind the thighs and just roll our way up onto all fours. Yeah, so you might take the feet to the side or cross the legs and then take the feet behind you. So end up onto your all fours shape and just rock forwards and back a bit. Let's wake up the wrists, especially if you've been on your laptop all day. And take little circles through the fingertips. And feel those sides, yeah, the sides of the body. Take the circle the other way and also feel the hips. Yeah, so those hips starting to move, the femur bones starting to move within the hips. Good. Three cat cows, just in your own time, letting the breath flow, letting the belly sink, lift the head chest up, and then exhale, rounding into the back and really spread your shoulder blades. And again, inhale, let the belly sink, lift the head chest up. And then exhale, tuck in the tail, rounding the back, chin to chest. Last time, letting the belly sink, lift the head chest up. And then exhale, rounding the back, chin to your chest. And hold it here for a moment. Walk your knees back, just one step. Yeah, so now your knees are behind your hips. Now I need to think about pushing the hands into the floor and it's almost like you're trying to drag your hands towards your knees. Round into the upper back, feel the core strong here and then slowly start to move your hips back towards your heels, really slowly and keep dragging the hands towards the knees although they do not move. Keep pressing the hands down, keep feeling the stretch of the shoulders, the hips towards the heels. And then bring it all the way back. Okay, try that two more times. So you're dragging your hands to your heels, your core is strong, and you're trying to take your hips back, but the hands are stopping you, the floor is stopping you. So you're feeling that restriction and that rounding. And then bring it back up. Okay, last time. And this action, I want you to remember how it feels and see if we can replicate this with our legs when we are up in our triangle shape. Keep dragging the heels of the hands towards the knees, find that strength, find that resistance. I'm hoping you get it, I'm hoping you understand. And then bring it all the way back. Good. Take a cat cow, let the belly sink, draw the shoulder blades back. You should be feeling that there. And then exhale, round into the back chin to your chest. Okay, so remember that action, that drawing in together action. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back and feel your downward facing dog. You can wiggle those hips out. Then you're gonna lift your right leg up to the sky, bend the right leg and open up the hip. Feel that stretch through the left leg. Now bring the right knee into your nose, right foot next to your right thumb. All right, once you get there, lower your left knee down, release the left toes, and just bring your forearms up onto your right leg. Okay, so we want that same action now. As you exhale, press the right foot and the left knee in towards each other and feel yourself lift up, draw the belly back, lift the chest up, and then exhale, sink into it. Okay, and again, as you inhale, push the feet towards the, towards the back knee, the back knee towards the front foot, tuck in the tail, belly strong, feel that drawing in, and then release and relax. Good, last time, press the feet towards each other, tuck in the tail, rounding the back. Now you're here, lift your arms up. See if you can lift the chest up, keep squeezing the legs towards each other, feel that strength. 
and then take the hands down either side for up and tuck your back toes lift your back knee you can rock forwards and back a bit maybe even starting to straighten out the right leg as you rock forwards and back starting to get into those hamstrings and then you can let the right foot move to the back of the mat take your feet as wide as your hips let both heels fall to the right draw your chest forward lift the heels up and let both heels fall to the left start to feel the strength of your core now your obliques last time heels lift up let them fall to the right and then heels lift up let them fall to the left good lift the heels up lower your knees elbows brush the rib cage as you lower down come through into your cobra or your upward dog see how your back feels and then take it up and back downward facing dog big breath in here open your mouth and exhale let it out good so let's take the left leg up to the sky bend the knee and open up that hip bring your left foot next to your left thumb place the foot there and then slide the back leg away a bit lower the right knee release the right toes so we bring the forearms back onto the left thigh now all right so find that drawing in action as you inhale push the feet and the back knee towards you towards the center lift up and then sink down into it good and again as you exhale draw the feet towards each other lift the chest up and then relax into it good last time draw everything in we want the same drawing in action when we're at, we're in our triangle shape yeah keep the core strong lift the arms up maybe you can lean back a little bit good and then take the hands down either side front foot well done we'll tuck your back toes under lift the back knee and just start to rock forwards and back and then maybe eventually you can start to straighten out that left leg. Yeah, see how we go, how it feels. Eventually taking your left foot to the back of the mat, feet as wide as the mat. Let the heels fall towards the right, draw the chest forwards. Picking the heels up, let them fall to the left. Yeah, feel the sides, the obliques. And again, heels lift up, let them fall to the right. And then heels lift up, let them fall to the left. Nice, guys, lift the heels up, drop your knees or do your full vinyasa, elbows brush the ribcage. Cobra up dog as you come up. Take it up and back, downward facing dog. Nice big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good. let's take the right leg up to the sky bend the knee and open up the hip all right this time bring your right foot next to your left thumb see if you can get it there good now slide your left leg back a bit take your hands over towards the left side lift your hips up straighten your right leg and then come into a wide leg forward fold facing that left side Get fingertips on the floor, inhale, lift the head, chest up. Your triangle shape here with the legs. And then exhale and fold, let the head hang heavy. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers and draw your shoulders away from the ears. That's it, good. How much can you press the hands down towards the floor here? And how much can you feel the weight in the toes? And also feeling the hamstring stretch. Inhale and exhale bringing the hands back to the sacrum and then onto the floor uh, bring your heels up no actually keep the heels as they are just bend your knees and then start to roll your way up last thing to come up is the head okay bring your hands into that yoni mudra again thumbs touching fingers pointing downwards yeah open up your right toes towards the right Turn those left toes inwards a little bit. Good, so now play with your hips. See if you can move them from side to side here. 
<laughs> that's it. And try and find where the hips are level. So your hip bones are level and parallel to the floor. Inhale, squeeze your feet towards each other. Draw the hands upwards, draw the belly upwards. And then push the left hip back. Feel the right thigh, start to stretch within that right hip. Good, and then you can take your arms out to the side. Breathing in. Good. As you breathe out, can you reach your right fingers forwards and then just lower your hands wherever they land on your right leg. Yes, it will be your biggest triangle. Left arm up to the sky and try and wrap the right rib cage towards the left side. Left arm up and overhead, breathing in. Can you squeeze your legs towards each other like you've been doing? And then breathing out, looking down, rebend the right leg, come into warrior two. Right hand comes down, touch the floor, big circle, left arm up and over, and then front foot to the back into plank, feet as wide as the mat. Let the heels fall to the right, let the left arm lift up to the sky. Left hand comes down, let the heels lift up, they fall to the left, right arm lifts up. Good. Lower the right hand down, heels come up, elbows brush the rib cage as you lower down. Inhale, lift the head, chest up, cobra up, down, and then back into your downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Let's go to the other side. Left leg lifts up, bend the knee, open up the head. All right, bring your left foot next to your right thumb. All right, and once you get there, slide your right leg back a bit. Take your hands towards the right side. Lift the hips up, straightening the left leg. Turn the toes towards the right. Hang forwards, forward fold. Wide leg, forward fold. Feel or creating that lovely upward facing triangle. Take the hands behind you, draw the shoulders back and let the hands fall behind your head. Breathing in. Breathing in. Good, releasing the hands back down onto the mat. Bend your knees, roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Bring your hands back into that yoni triangle. Yeah, so draw the energy up, keep that calm, keep that balance. To open up the left toes towards the front of the mat and then turn those right toes inwards. And again, have a little wiggle with the hips. Yeah, notice what movement you've got there. Then as you breathe in, press, press the hands into the pelvis and lift up tall and let your right hip move towards the back of the mat. Feel the left thigh in that left hip space. Arms come out to the side. And breathing in. As you breathe out, can you reach your left fingers a little bit further forwards? And then just rest your left hand wherever it lands on your, le on your left thigh. Not your deepest triangle. Draw the left rib cage to the right. Right arm up and overhead, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your legs towards each other. Get that squeezing action, yeah? <laughs> Good, looking down, bend the front knee, come back, boy, two. Left hand touches the floor, right hand touches the floor. Front foot to the back, feet as wide as the mat. All right, guys, let the heels fall to the right, left arm up to the sky. Now you're gonna stay here, Try and draw your right rib cage towards the sky more. Try and keep lifting that right rib cage up as you swing the left arm underneath the right rib cage. And then I'm curl, take it back up, right rib cage to the sky. Your left hand comes down, lift the heels up. Let them fall to the other side, right arm up to the sky. Can the left rib cage go up towards the sky? Right hand goes underneath left rib cage. Try and keep lifting the left rib cage up. And then lift the right arm back up. Good, right hand comes down. Vinyasa, drop your knees if you need. Come through your cobra up dog. And then meet me in your downward facing dog. Nice big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. So make sure you've got your block nearby. And we lift the right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up the hip. Right foot is going to land inside the right thumb. 
Come into your high lunge. Make sure your feet are nice and far apart in that high lunge shape. And then grind the back heel 45. Adjust your front foot, you know the spare. Good, and then catch hold of your block. Place the block on the top of your palm, if you've got one. You can also use a book, or nothing at all. Yeah, so it's on top of your palm like you're holding a plate. And then we'll straighten that front leg. So now let's get into these triangles. Big belly drawing up, imagine the hands are there. Let the left hip move towards the back of the mat. Feel the right leg within that right hip. And now reach the block as far, far, far forwards as you can. Right rib cage to the left. Breathing in. Good. As you breathe out, you're going to take the block down onto the floor just in front of your ankle on its high edge. Rest the right hand on the floor. Spin the right rib cage to the sky more. Left arm up to the sky. Great. You've got your three triangles. The ones in the legs, the ones with the arm and the leg and then your whole body in that triangle shape. <laughs> Looking down, bend your front knee, come back into your warrior two. You can take the block with you, it came with me. <laughs> right hand comes down, left arm comes up and over. Take the front foot to the back, find your plank. Core strength, let the heels fall to the right, left arm up to the sky, can you spin the right rib cage to the sky? Left arm underneath your right rib cage, try and creep it through. And then arm curl, left arm back up. Left hand down, lift the heels up, let them fall to the other side, right arm to the sky, and then try and bring your left rib cage to the sky. Good, try and keep lifting that left rib cage, right arm underneath the left rib cage. Arm curl, right arm up. Good, right hand comes down, vinyasa or not. Come through cobra up dog, back into downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, exhale, let it go. Good, left leg is up, bend the knee, open up the hip. All right, go through the flow, left foot next to left thumb. Make that lunge nice and long there. Lifting the arms all the way up. Good. From here, drop the back heel 45. Open up the arms and then walk your front foot towards the right, warrior two. Catch hold of your block, place it on the palm of your hands and then reach the fingers away. Inhale. Good. As you exhale, straighten that left leg and then move your right hip to the back of the mat. Feel the left leg within that left hip. Now try and reach the block as far forward to the front of the mat as you can. You can have a bend in that front right left leg if you want. All right, you're gonna take the block to the floor, just land it in by your ankle. Push down to the hand and try and wrap that left rib cage towards the right. Right fingers to the sky. Feel the upward facing triangle shapes that you're making here. Yeah, you're drawing the energy upwards Towards your head, towards that higher place. Inhale. And exhale. You take the left arm up and over your head. Good. Looking down, bend your front knee. Come back to warrior two. And then you can take the right left hand to the floor. Big circle, right arm up and over. Front foot to the back, plank, plank. Last side plank. Let your heels fall to the right, left arm to the sky. Can the right rib cage move to the sky? Lower the outer thigh, outer hip to the floor, shoulder strong. Lift right back up. You can always drop your knees if you want to. Left hand down, lift the heels up. Let them fall to the left, right arm to the sky. And then play with lowering the outer left thigh to the floor, outer left hip to the floor. Lift it right back up. Right hand comes down. Your vinyasa. Go with your flow. Meet me in downward facing dog. That's it. Try and go with it. Stick with it. Stay with it. Last little flow. Right leg lifts up. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. You know this bit. Right foot inside. Right thumb. Just flow through it. 
Lift the arms up, high lunge. Good, ground the back heel 45, adjust your front foot, find warrior two. Well done, <laughs> straighten your front leg. Move the hip away. Feel the leg within the hip, you can bend that front leg if need be. Good, reach the fingers as far forward as you can. That's it, keep reaching. Awesome guys, rest the hand on your shin, twist the right rib cage towards the left, left arm comes up and over your head, so you're back in this triangle shape. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze your feet towards each other, don't forget that little teaching point. Good, all right, remember you can come back to this shape. Look down, bend your front knee, come back to warrior two. All right, right hand comes to the inner right ankle, and if that's too much, have your block on its lower edge and rest the hand there. Yeah, see what feels good. Left arm's gonna come up and over your head. That's it, I want you to play with straightening your right leg. Now, if you find it hard to straighten it with the hand on the floor, maybe bring your hand onto the block. We'll wait for you. Try and twist the right rib cage towards the sky. Squeeze your feet towards each other, breathing in. Can you lengthen the top arm? Breathing out. So good guys, look to him. Bend your front knee, come back, warrior two. Ooh. Well done, right hand comes down, touch the floor. Big circle, left arm up and over. Front foot, uh, actually, stay here in the low lunge. You're gonna take your left foot and bring it up, halfway up the mat. Your toes are turned out slightly at the back, yeah, with those left toes, and the heel is slightly in. You can have your hands on your block, yeah, if you can't straighten that right leg, otherwise hands on the floor. Inhale, draw the head chest forwards, but keep squeezing the left heel into, your, into the floor. That's it. Now your left hand can be on a block, or it can be on the floor, you choose. Right arm goes out to the side. Pavrita Trikonasana. So we're going to twist now. Try and twist from your belly button and above. Looking towards the right side. Don't move your hips. Squeeze your feet towards each other. Inhale. Good. And then exhale. Lower your right hand back down. Well done. Take the block to one side. Slide your left leg back. Front foot to the back. Vinyasa, go with your flow. Meet me in your downward dog. That's it, inhale. Exhale. Last flow, left leg is up. Bend the knee, open up that hip. Okay, you know this bit, left foot, inside left thumb. Maybe you can feel where the right leg has had that extra work. Lift your arms up into that high lunge. Okay, make your way into warrior two. Adjusting that front foot towards the, the right side. That's it, good. And then straighten the front leg, lift up tall, and then let the hip fall towards the back. Left leg, moving into that left hip. Right uh, fingers out in front to the sides. Reach as far, far forwards as you can. Take your hand onto your shin, everyone. Twist left rib cage to right. Right arm comes up and overhead. Breathing in. Very strong, core strong. Looking good. Squeeze the legs towards each other. Don't overstretch this left knee. Good. Looking down. Remember, you can come back to this shape. We're going to bend the front knee and come back. Warrior two. All right, where do you want to go? Left hand on the block or left hand on the floor. Twist the left rib cage to the right, right arm up and overhead. That's it, now can you slowly, carefully start to work on straightening that left leg? Yeah, so it's quite a deep triangle. If it's too much, come back to the, the last one that we did. Squeeze your feet towards each other, left hand could be on the block, inhale. Good, and then exhale, looking down. Bend the front knee, right hand comes down, left hand over to the left, walk the left foot over to the left side. Okay, so make nice space in between the feet. 
So you're going to bring the back foot in so that you can have both heels pressing into the floor. You might have a bend in your knees, that's fine. Left toes, uh, right toes turned out, heels slightly in. Hands can be on your block. If that means, it gives you a bit more space. Inhale, lift the head, chest forwards. That's it, good. Exhale, hold it there. Try and squeeze your left hip back. Squeeze your feet towards each other. Yeah, it intensifies it no end. Maybe your right hand's on the floor. Maybe it's on the block. Left arm out to the side. Nothing happens yet, just the arm goes out to the side. And then push your right fingertips as you start to twist. Don't let the hips move. Don't let the legs move. Squeeze those feet towards each other. Breathing in. Good, I'm breathing out to twist, twist, twist. Well done, doesn't it feel great? <laughs> Excellent guys, lower the left hand down. Slide the right leg back. Front foot to the back, find your vinyasa. Elbows brush the rib cage. And through cobra dog. Meet me, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Good guys, take a moment. Knees open uh, and on the floor, big toes touching. So wide leg child's pose. Relax. Tummy chest head in between the legs. How is all that feeling? Tree kanasana so. The tree meaning three, the kana meaning angle, asana meaning posture. Tree kanasana, ooh tita, tree kanasana. Big breath in, long breath in. Good, so let's bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. That was your little rest. Bring your knees back underneath your hips. Move the block out of the way if it's in the way. Feel yourself full of energy. <laughs> Tuck your toes under. Lift the hips up and back into your down dog. Okay, we're gonna move into a different triangle now. Take your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. And then extend your right leg over towards that left side. You really want to be on the edge of this right foot. Drop your back heel away. Now I want your hands on the floor underneath your shoulders and I want you to draw your chest forwards. Actually lift your back heel up and then draw your chest forward. So you can squeeze your inner thighs together more here. You're breathing in. Good. And breathing out like you have been doing throughout your side planks. Let the back heel fall, fall 45. And then take your left arm up to the sky and try and squeeze the hips up to the sky. Okay, so this is your fallen triangle shape. Left arm up and over your head. Feel that lovely extension, breathe in. If you're feeling fan dabby dozy today, push your hips back and then lift your right leg up. One more breath. Good, lower the left hand down, bring your right knee in and let's come three-legged dog, open up the hips. Good, you're gonna bring your right knee into your nose. Right foot lands inside the right thumb. Lower the left knee to the floor. That's it. And then we will be working more on this tomorrow, but let's pop it in there. Coming onto your, onto your fists. Squeeze that right leg forwards. Yeah, see where you can get to in your splits. Little prep for tomorrow for standing splits. Big uh, hamstring stretch in the trikonasana, so hopefully they're nice and warm. You can feel a little bit of progress there, wherever you are. You might be hovering off the floor a little bit. You might have your back toes tucked under a little bit. See where you're at. Okay, so you can put your palms flat and somehow slide your right leg to the back of the mat. Somehow get it there and do a little wiggle once you get there. A little celebratory wiggle. All right, here we go. Left leg lifts up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip. So now you're gonna bring your left knee to your right elbow. 
and then extend the left leg towards the right side. Wedge the edge of your left foot into the floor there. Yeah. Keep your back toes uh, pressing down, heel it up, and then just try and draw your chest forwards. Try and flatten your back. Try and feel an arch in your lower back. Breathing in. Good. As you breathe out, you can start to drop the back heel towards the left side. Open up the right hip a bit. Take your left arm up to the sky. Yeah, feel that fallen triangle shape. Right arm up and over your head. Can you wrap the left rib cage towards the sky? Feeling fan dabby dozy? Then you can push your hips back and then hover your left leg up off the floor and hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand down, left leg up, three leg dog. Good, bring your left knee into your nose, left foot next to left thumb. Well done, are we all there? Yes, once you get there, lower your right knee, and do the right toes. Good, come onto your fists. If this is a struggle for you, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then work on straightening that left leg. It's a struggle for everyone, this one, so see where you wanna go. Hanumanasana, your monkey pose. But your hamstrings should be prepped and ready for it. Also, a little bit of prep for tomorrow. Feeling fan dabby dozy is my new word. Lift the arms up. Yep. One more breath wherever you are. Good. Palms go down flat. Tuck your back toes. Somehow, left leg goes back downward facing dog. Come up high into your toes, roll yourself forwards into your plank pose, and then elbows brush the rib cage as you lower down. Take your right arm out to the right side, and then push through your left hand to spin your left hip back. Left foot lands behind the right foot. Then let the head rest on the floor, see if you can stretch out the neck. Okay, let all of that information settle within you. Yeah, how, has anything sparked a thought or an idea or changed anything for you? Letting the body have time to process that. Okay. And if nothing really sparked your imagination today or changed anything today, even if it's negative, it's, it's, um, it's use, useful. Then hopefully you feel warm, stretched, strengthened. Lower the belly back down onto the mat, bring your right arm in, and then just change sides. Left arm out to the side, right fingers push down, palm is down with the left hand, peel the right hip back, let your head rest on the floor, feel the stretch through the shoulder. You also want to feel the stretch through the sides of your body. Uh, breathing in and breathing in. Okay, guys, rolling yourself back onto the mat. Now take your left arm to the top of the mat and then and then just keep bringing the left arm towards the right side so you can roll onto your back. They're nice and easy. Have your palms down by your side, your feet towards your hips. Nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, draw your belly button back, push down to your feet and lift those hips up. Now we'll take a moment with the hands interlaced underneath your lower back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Okay, so let the glutes fire up now, let the hamstrings fire, little bit of strengthening. We're gonna pulse the hips up and down. So pulsing for five, four, nice little squeeze at the top, three, two, and one. It's really just a counter pose to all, all that you've been doing. And then releasing the hands and lower the spine down. Good, come into happy baby, bringing your knees into your chest. And then soles of the feet to the sky. Hopefully, 
You can catch hold of the edges of the feet, if not. Take the hands behind the thighs. But you're gonna press the tailbone down to the mat, press the thighs either side of the rib cage. Nice big breath in. Long breath out. Right back to where we started. Just bringing the soles of the feet together, rest the edges of the feet on the floor. And then coming back to that yoni mudra, the thumbs touching, first fingers touching. And then just relax the elbows on the floor. I'm going to create this triangle shape just above your pelvis. Eyes closed, face relaxed. Take a few mindful breaths, just giving yourself time to slow down. And this mudra also helping to ground you, to root you. Did Kalima look after you today throughout the class? Did you find the strength in each pose? But did you find the softness as well? Trikonasa is all about straight lines, making those perfect straight lines with your body, within your capabilities, within what's available to you. But as with every pose, there has to be a softness as well. So I hope you manage to find that balance of strength, softness, I hope you manage to find some of that, that levitating energy, that lifting you up energy from your upward facing triangles within each triangle pose, within each trikonasana. You can just extend your feet to the corners of the mat. Can take your arms up and over your head, squeeze your legs together, squeeze your feet together, squeeze the back towards the floor. And then bring your knees into your chest and we'll just roll over onto the right hand side. In your own time, keeping your eyes closed, make your way up to seated. Sit in any shape that feels good for you. Bring your hands together, thumbs press into the chest bone. Bring gratitude to the practice. Nice big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Do let me know how it went. If, um, if maybe I added a bit of confusion or maybe I cleared something up. Yeah, it could go either way, couldn't it? I hope you enjoyed. Namaste.